Hey guys, and welcome to Oz Mafia. I'm sick, <laughs> so I'm going to be extremely nasally and a little bit sniffly throughout all of this. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, I don't know anything about this visual novel. It's on Steam, you can buy it now. Alright, here we go. He's going to kill me. I bet she's late. She's been late for anime school. He's going to kill me, he's going to kill me, he's going to kill me. He... Yep. Repetition is the key to memorization. I can't escape the footsteps behind me. Hmm. If he catches me, he's going to kill me. I don't want to die. Okay. I was told this game was going to be very cheerful and there weren't any very bad endings. I think I've been lied to. That or she's being dramatic. Assuming it's a she. I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Most people don't. This girl must be ace at spelling bees. <laughs> I don't want him to kill me, I don't want to die, I want to live. My heart and body are running on pure instinct. I want to live. あの農場に住んでいた少女ドロシー竜巻に襲われて愛犬のトトと一緒に魔法の国オズエとやってきました黄色のレンガ道を魔法の銀の靴を手に入れたドロシーが進みます I'm reaching for a napkin so if you're hearing sounds that's why I'm sorry その先にあるエメラルドシティに住む there's a grammatical error in there somewhere. <笑><笑><笑> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. You know, this is where I have to make the admission that I've never actually seen the full movie of The Wizard of Oz. Is she done? Can I stop breathing into the mic now? Noise. Information slowly filled the girl's foggy mind. Oh, this narration's gonna kill me. Cold sand bit into her cheeks and fingers. I'm so sorry. Her eyelashes quivered as she slowly opened her eyes. I just kind of noticed that the little thing is a doggy. That makes this infinitely better. Oh dear, where am I waking up? Huh? Where? Putting her hands to the ground, she sat up to look around. The color of the walls, the shape of the pebbles blanketing the ground, the smell of the sand hanging in the air, none of it was familiar to her. Well, great. The only thing she knew for sure was that she'd woken up in a dark alley somewhere. <laughs> Observational skills on par. Where am I? She stood up unsteadily, but the higher vantage point failed to clarify her situation. That's a very fancy way to say she was looking up. She could feel someone's gaze on her back and slowly turned around. Sound. Oh, goodness. <laughs> You're starting early, I see. Who is he? His silver hair swayed gently in the breeze. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's gonna be that kind of game. I'm sorry. The eyes peeking up from beneath his hair were clearly fixated on the girl. The intensity of his gaze made her instinctively take a step back. 
I shouldn't just ignore him. I mean, you could. She gulped and forced herself to speak up. Great first impression. Uh um. Oh, here we go. First choices. Uh, okay, so. In a strange alley. Um, dude staring at me. I got no idea where I am. You know what? We're gonna go with polite. Hello. Oh god, he's breathing. And no response. Awesome. I guess he doesn't want to talk to strangers. Except for he's staring at you. Yeah, oh god. I finally found you. Huh? Oh, I guess I should just narrate the heroine's voice. Found me? Um, do you know me? Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, oh, is that it? What do you mean, is that it? So I'm your prey. Prey? Yeah, there's there's a problem with what he said. No, oh, don't black out. Oh my g You did not get a good deal on your shirt. Y you didn't get the whole thing, if, you're, if you understand what I'm getting at. Maybe button up. <laughs> now allow me to destroy you? Hostility emanated from him as he pointed his large blade, um, at her. Well, my mind just went somewhere. Uh, we're not gonna, yeah, okay, moving on. I have to get out of here. I would have awarded this game massive points if she'd whipped out a blade of her own. Driven by instinct yet again, her body began to move by itself. The moment he raised his blade over his head, the girl turned on her heels and bolted. I don't know where I should go, but you should totally get a dog, like Haunting Ground style, and sick them on your enemies. I would love to see, like, what kind of dog was Toto? Was he, like... Oh god, it's one of those small dogs, like, uh, the Scottish... Scottish Terriers, I think it was, yeah. I would love to see that, just fucking bite the ankles of this asshole. I know I have to get away from him. Where should I go? Excuse me, coming through. She weaved through the crowd, her feet carrying her ever forward. There was nothing familiar to her about the busy street or the surprised pedestrians making way for her. Wait, my prey. There are better ways to pick up girls, I gotta say. A absolutely not. Fair enough, good response. What should I do? What should I do? All she could think about was running. The rest would have to come later. If he catches me, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. I can't escape these footsteps behind me. If he catches me, he's going to kill me. Is this just rehashing the prologue now? I don't want to die. I don't want him to kill me. I don't want to die. I want to live. Yep. I want to live. Yep. Eep. Suddenly, her foot caught on something, sending her flying towards the ground. Oh no. Not not this syndrome. I, I tripped. Good job, genius. Please don't linger on that thought for too long. The girl closed her eyes as she felt herself fall. Not even gonna try and catch herself? No? Alright. Oof. I sense another hero! Love interest! Whatever! But the impact and pain she'd been anticipating never came. Oh look, it's his... brother? Timidly, she opened her eyes. A red-haired... A, a red-haired man was holding her. Okay. Oh dear. Signorina, are we in Italy? Uh, oh no, thank you. Okay, here's where I have to say something. One of the initial reasons I ended up actually buying this game was because 
So the art style for this particular game is very reminiscent of an anime I watched way back when, based on another uh, dating sim, called Diabolic Lovers. And anyone who's spoken to me about this anime at any length of time knows I absolutely cannot stand that anime. Like, I despise it with all my heart because it, it teaches people especially young girls, a lot of bad lessons, um, and, I mean, I know, it's an anime, it's, you, there are probably redemption arcs in it, and whatever, and all that stuff, if you enjoy it, that's fine, you're allowed to enjoy it, that's not my personal, you know, it's not my right to say what you can or cannot enjoy, but I personally found that anime to be very disturbing for me, and so the reason I ended up choosing this was because I figured, you know, as opposed to a typical visual novel experience for me, I would either A, be pleasantly surprised, and I would take you all along on that journey with me, or you would get to see me freak out and scream and rage at this thing. So either way, you guys were going to get a great show. So that's why I ended up playing this. So with that out of the way, I will admit, I am a little bit weary of this game, but I'm gonna try and go into this unbiased. So, with that being said, um, I'm getting those vibes? The slightly, uh, victim-blaming vibes already? But that, that just might be me and my, again, my caution, my slight bias. So I'm gonna try and tuck that away and we're gonna forget that ever happened until I have solid justification for these feelings. Alright, moving on. We are getting phonetics from all over the world here. Also, that's not red hair. That's like strawberry blonde at best. No, I take it back. She's got strawberry blonde. He's got... I, w oh, I want to say ginger? Thank you very much for saving me. Your names were... Mr. Karamia and Mr. Kyrie. That's generally why people ask names. Huh? So,でも、彼らは私の方です。この町の取り分けこの地区で我々を知らない者はいませんから。言われても、お嬢さんはどこの追いついた。Oh, here we go. <laughs> Battle music. <laughs> Question marks. Exclamation marks. Both, actually. Oh, God. Help me. Heretic. So... Outcast? ねえ、ね。Mr. Caesar. Even when she spoke his name aloud, it didn't ring any bells. Oh dear. Oh shit, he's doing over the shoulder look now. Mr. Caramia? <laughs> that instant, Kyrie firmly grabs grasped her outstretched hand. A again, a reminder, I am slightly sick here, so I am nasal as hell, and I'm sure you can all hear it. Also, the fact that I'm trying very hard not to cough into the mic right now, so I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, God. I am literally breathing into a towel right now. Oh, God, too close. <laughs> too close. <laughs> but... Normally? Oh, 
Oh, sorry, I should have narrated that, sorry. Ah! But, uh, ooh. Yeah, there you go. Lowering his stance, Caesar charged forward at Karamia. He took aim at Karamia and swiftly swung his sword at him. Karamia took a half step back to dodge and then promptly closed the distance between them. Oh dear. Anger face. Before Caesar could react, Karamia had drawn his pistol from its holster, that's unfair, and pressed its muzzle to Caesar's forehead. Oh dear. I think I'm gonna have to cut here for a second. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm assuming nobody wanted to hear me actually clear my nose. Thoughts. I'm getting the vague feeling we've got like a mishmash of European cultures here. Kyrie let go of the girl's hand and snapped his fingers. At his signal, men in black suits appeared to surround Caesar. Like Karamia, every single one of them trained their own handgun onto him. Caesar grabbed Karamia's gun and shoved it away. The men in black suits tensed up, ready to fire at a single word from Karamia. Uh, Mafia? Karamia raised his right hand and then... and the men lowered their weapons. Now go. How on earth did you get your shirt like that? Yeah. Uh, you know, that's a good question. I, uh, don't know. He was just standing there when I woke up, and before I knew it, he was shoving that sword in my face. I'm just going to move past that joke. I'm, I'm going to rise above the joke. I didn't even know his name until now. Oh, no. Huh? It's... Huh? She couldn't remember her name. Of course she can't, because how else would you get to choose her name? And it wasn't just her name that she couldn't remember. Her entire mind seemed to be engulfed in a thick fog. She couldn't pull up a single memory. I... I'm in an unfamiliar town with unfamiliar people. And I don't even know who I am. A wave of anxiety rolled through her body, paralyzing her with helplessness. I, I don't know. I... Who am I? Sound. And down she goes.
man boy what <laughs> oh god I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all fine. Uh, <clears throat> okay. When she next awoke, a ceiling fan greeted her eyes. Soft noises whispered from it as it slowly turned round and round. She sat up a bit and realized that someone had laid her on a couch and covered her with a blanket. I don't know where I am again. You did change your clothes, though, so that's kind of concerning. Her confusion filled her with despair. Oh, huh? Huh. Get them? Get who? Also, she has a little flower in her hair. That's kind of adorable. He left. I don't know who that was. I don't know anything. He lost his hat! Mr. Karmia, Mr. Kyrie. Well, thanks, Sass Lord, for pointing out the obvious. Yes. That's not red hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so bothered by it. Orange. Orange hair. He's got fangs. He's a vampire. Kermia sat down on the table next to the couch. Oh god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Villager, Mark? Well, if she has amnesia, obviously not. Sorry. Why? Uh. <laughs> Mike adjustment, one second. Okay, we're good. Uh, my recording setup for this is a little bit different than usual because I'm trying to obliterate the tin that sometimes uh, shows up in my recordings. And to do that, um, I'm, yeah, I, I can't see some of the screen right now, so. I'm, uh, I'm adjusting. It's, it's getting there. Uh, mafioso, I knew it. And what? How old are you? <laughs> oh dear. The Don. Is that the most important person in the familia? Oh, leading up to it. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. Pardon my ruse. Um. Okay, so I have a vague feeling if I want to go for him, I'd have to go like that. But I ain't feeling this dude right away. The problem is, is that once you set your selection, you're kind of set in stone. So you know what? We're we're gonna do this like completely blind. I'm gonna choose whatever I choose and whatever I get, ending I get, I get. Um. I'd never have guessed. Let's sass this up. I want to give her some attitude, some spunk. I never would have guessed Mr. Karamia was the Don. なんだ、なんだ、二人して。へへへへ。褒めてあげているんですから、威厳をそこねないでください。どこが毛なしまくってるじゃねえか。あ、there <laughs> Oh, sorry. The way you bicker is just kind of funny. I couldn't help myself. Oh, now I feel bad for being an asshole. Huh? Oh, he's a playboy. Never mind. <laughs> I am forgiven my transgressions. Okay, 
his thing? What's that? Flirting. Flirting. Kiryu seems like a kind person, but he doesn't hesitate to speak his mind either. If Karamiya is number one and Kiryu is number two, does that mean Mr. Axel is number three? Uh, yep. Oh, I'm sorry, you're such an asshole. Axel, so you tied to a Yamero take the Daro, this is Kanojo, a book that you know, family, the Animasen. Most of you put on you a Stagawa never narrate. Jujun de Are, the Polishing, Anata, Mizukaraga Kisoko, Yaburo, the Suruto, Koke, the Sne Boku, a Kapo regime. Oh, dear. Okani, you got one. I'm going to have to get an Italian dictionary out for this. Thank you very much. Mr. Axel is kind of scary. Nah, he's the Kudere. It's fine. Yeah, he's kind of scary. Oh, did they? Well, thank you for that. Who changed my clothes? Why did you look while I was unconscious? Um, that's kind of a huge leap in logic. I mean, being carried while you're unconscious to a place where you can safely rest, as opposed to being carried, like, well, not wrong. Huge leap in logic. If you hadn't saved me, Mr. Caesar might have killed me. Thank you doesn't even begin to cover it. Ah, suck on that, you cooter, eh? Oh god. That's something the Yandere says. I don't need this in my life. I just got out of Toma with amnesia. I don't need this. Oh, that's not the case. Sorry if there's a delay in me clicking stuff. Um, I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know when this, the line actually ends. Cut me loose. Another familia? F familia? 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 Um, yeah. Sorry, ma. There was a knock at the door, and then a man in a black suit entered the room, bowing his head to the three men. Does he also get a character portrait? No, he does not. He's an extra. Preparations for the meeting are complete, he whispered to Karamiya. Thank you. Sagatakure. The man in the black suit bowed his head again and left the room. Kiria gazed at her as he picked up his hat from the table. Oh no, he found his hat. Ah! He found the hat! We're going out? Name! Name! I mean, you can if you want to be an asshole. Huh? Me? Oh, that's true. Okay, I thought of something. <laughs> Probably gonna regret it, but whatever. Because I know that's gonna be fabulous for me to say in uh, spoken dialogue, so there you go. <laughs> Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Please call me Packy. <laughs> I knew it. Um, shenanigans, fuckery, hilariousness, the lols. All good things. Um, it was just the first thing that came to mind. Is it strange? You know, you, you are quite the charmer to say that with a straight face. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Mr. Curie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, unfortunately, um, I missed time the recording for this session, so I'll have to end it kind of awkwardly there. Uh, we'll pick up again in the next episode. Let me know what you think of this series, if I should continue, if I shouldn't, who I should go for, who I should ignore, and we'll talk to you later. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Have an excellent day. See you later.